Um, so here we are that, with a man that was on the absolute edge of glory. <laughs> number 33rd, Troy Reeves from Dunedin. Troy, Team Tacky Timmies, how are you doing buddy? Uh, pretty depressed but I played my heart out and uh, round one my opponent didn't turn up so I think that's what ultimately led to coming 33rd and bubbling but um, I played 60 card Eldridge. Um I thought it was really good this format and I'll just get into it. So Sweet. play three Golden Lord. This is absolutely mandatory. I got crowed for two every game I played. I'd just snipe it every time. Um, and in my uh, second last round, I OTK'd him with triple Golden Lord. Because I, re I rezzed one, I had one already, and then I sagwined for the last one, and uh, that's exactly lethal. So I killed him. Uh, on to two Fallen of Alves. We're playing the uh, Branded Engine on the stick. Um, originally, I was playing two and two Aluba, but Aluba's awful this format. Like Sprite, they'll just tow it and then you've wasted your normal so on. Mm. As opposed to this with Super Bowl, you can be really good. Um, we're also playing Dogmatica. So just the two, the two. Um, this card isn't as good as I thought it would be. Um, mainly because like Sprite with Toad, um, they'll negate something and then they'll bring it back. So like your one negate with this just isn't enough. Um, I'd probably just cut this to be honest. Um, and then Ecclesia's really good. Um, On to um, just stuff we play for the branded stuff. I'm playing um, Necro of Banshee. Mm -hmm. So this is to make Lubellion, but it's also a very good main deck target for Seguin if you already have Golden Lord. Because um, as you'll see later on, with Rivalry, you just go Girl Effect and Grave, Zombie World, Rivalry. Well, they can only summon one type of monster, that's a zombie. So we've got a sneaky zombie world package in there? Yep. Uh, onto the two worst cards in there, um, the DPE bricks. Oh my god. Um, You're probably like the only man in the room other than that one hero guy that's still yep. on DPE. <laughs> uh, it, it's pretty good. Obviously drawing these is annoying, but um, I had a game today where I resolved DPE and then like, Dash was in Grave and I drew Golden Lord. So it's like Dash effects special summon it out. Mm -hmm. um, and then this is just draw two after you resolve DPE because you're playing um, Floodgates. Um, onto the spells, we'll just start with all the power cards. So three Droplet, three Super Bolly, um, three Prosperity. Uh, originally this was Extrav, um, and I kind of want to go back to Extrav because this. Uh, it's only optimal for three. If you go for six, and you're in a grind game, you will lose because you mm. don't have enough resources to come off. Yeah, I, I found that. Pl I played a. Uh, I played Sprite myself this weekend, and yeah, I found myself with Prosperity just comboing, and then Prosperity for three at the yeah. end. And this was basically like upstart. Like the three I reviewed because I'm playing sixty, weren't good. They were just like subpar adding. I'd, I'd rather play Extrav. Yeah. Um, when we play three Brand of Fusion, obviously it's a really good yep. card. Um, I wanted to build this deck with the branded cards in it because most people think you can't do anything going second, but you have um, DPE and Branded Fusion and Mirror Jade and all that stuff. So all the Sprite players that ended on Zeus, as soon as you activate this card, they've lost. Because <laughs> they're not going to Zeus your Albion, yeah. they're going to Zeus the Mirror Jade and then you just go activate Mirror Jade, banish Zeus. And then you've got a Golden Lord just to poke them. Yeah. Um, Good. I think people have forgotten how powerful Branded Fusion actually yeah. is. Like the, the Branded deck itself, like Branded Despair, sure it's yeah. fallen off because it's her element and Super Poly, but this is still a very good card. Uh, speaking of really good cards, we play the um, Maximum Monkey Package. This oh, is just... yuck. I mean, I had it in my side deck, but yuck, hey. <laughs> this was a really bad choice because the format yeah. is so used to seeing this card, it plays around it. Mm. Like, my Terra Element opponent was just like, ah. Oh, I got to my land, field spell pop. I was like, ah, oh, it doesn't do anything. This was better for Zombie World, because um, I played against Zodiac, and he summoned once. I was like, he specialed uh, Rat, and I was like, sweet, to my land, Zombie World. No, um, Beast Warriors for you. <laughs> um, onto the two Cursed Elder Land. Um, I have a love hate relationship with this card. Sometimes I want to play one, sometimes I want to play two. Uh, this didn't really come up, it's mainly just bait if they want to Ash, like if you need to get to Golden Lord, it's cool, but if you already have it, 
It's just a bad card. Ah, uh, and Toad. It doesn't work with Toad. Because if they choose to set it, you can't get its fix. Um, Tuna Deer Servant. Uh, really good card. This is better than uh, Prosperity because you just go Nadir Servant, send Garura, add Ecclesia, Garura draw a card. So you've just gone plus two. Yeah. And like you don't really care about the special summoning from the extract, you just do it after you've done that. Um, I wish this card was at three, but unfortunately it's not. Um, oh, I think you should go back to Rich and Two Fusion Destiny. Yep. The same thing as like Brandon Fusion. They're expecting you to play just traps, but you've got a DPE. Um, against my, again, the second round, second last round opponent, he had uh, 6k at arrival. And I just went Fusion Destiny, some DPE in defense. And every turn he was just poking over it, DPE thing, bring it back. Do it again, over and over and over again. So DPE is really good, but I can see why it's not in the format anymore, because the bricks are just the worst thing in the world to draw. Uh, the one, obviously, main deck, Zombie One. Um, this was born out of my hatred for Flunder. I hate that deck. I it's just, disgusting. it's so boring. I know I'm playing a trap deck, but don't I, I, I'd this. rather verse this deck every single time of a Reflume yeah. match because holy crap. Uh, onto the Floodgates. We play a lot. So three Rivalry, three Skill Drain, three Tickaboo, three Summon Limit. Uh, none of these cards, apart from maybe this, affect us that much. Golden Lord doesn't care. Golden Lord doesn't care. You don't care. Yeah. Um, I probably would have played something a bit better than. Um, this yep. for uh, Tier Element. I might have played the band played on. Oh, sorry, not the band played on. Um, Barrier. Because yep. uh, I the stick wasn't very good against uh, Tier Element. Tier Element. It just doesn't do enough. Um, onto the so you don't get harpies. Just three judgment. Um, yeah, th this card's mandatory in the main. People often cite it. I, I don't see how you do that. You guarantee you win game one with judgment. Um, three Conk, three Seguin, two Hikuero. Um This card's not very good. That's why it's at two. And these are just stock standard. Three of this is too much because you don't want to draw. You want to draw this, not any of these, because you can search them. Um, so some people are playing one and the um, one that negates effects, but yeah. I think this is fine. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I would have thought like the one that hits the graveyard would have been good. <laughs> It depends on what you're playing, like, I think Sprite play very weird when they know you're playing traps. They yep. don't often, like, elf as freely as they would, because they know you have a Quero. Um, that's where I said, like, before, they mainly went for Zeus, and, like, yep. this doesn't do anything to Zeus. Yeah. Um, and then, just the Dogmatica Punishment and the Metaverse. Uh, again, this card is terrible. People can play around Mystic Mine. I wish I played, like, something like Tactics or... Literally anything else. Yep. And then punishment's just good for um, sending cards and searching. And we've got a huge 60 cards there. Yep. Uh, on to extra deck, we play two Mirror Jade, two Albion. Um, just standard, you can banish them off prosperity, but yep. you don't want any less than, than that. Um, two Garura. Uh, this card was a mistake. Just printing a super volley oh, target, right. that's like, wow, I can just fuse anything and get. Um, combo with it. Uh, I won a game because he didn't read it and didn't realise it was double damage. So oh, I just went, Lord, no. Lord, attack. And he's like, it's 15. I'm like, no, it's 3k. And he died. Um, and also, like, Dark is in the format. And this is the only Dark I want to leave in my grave for Dark Charmer. Because if they send it off, yeah. you get a draw. So it's, it's fine. Um, one DP, obviously. Um, card's really good. Uh, one... This card searches DP. Uh, there was no Dragon Link, so I wasn't worried about that's setting that's set Albus. Just fusion, yeah, uh, it searches any fusion or a poly. Um, so yeah, this card's literally only used to search fusion destiny. Um, Starving Venom, two poly target, two element. Uh, I never made that card. Uh, Titanic Lad, that's to out 4k at arrival because you go. Fallen of Albears and Golden Lord, and it's on 41, yep. and then you beat over it. Um, and they can obviously search Ecclesia, but you don't really care. Uh, one Lubellion. This needs to be uh, any XYZ, like the Ghost Rick Dullahan or Alucard, or just a better Super Poly target, because it, it, it's really subpar. I never summoned it. Um, 
one pedal point. Yeah. So this is for. Did you say <laughs> This is for uh, the dear servant, anything like that, because in the standby phase of the next turn, yeah. it adds super poly. So it's really good. Um, and it's just a really good card to send. I thought there might be like the Petal Depart Despair deck, because that, that deck's really good, but I just think people are off the Despair thing altogether. Yeah. Um, Which is one Dark Charmer yep. and one Link Spider. That's just for your Elder Lich traps, and this is for Dragon Link, because um, you have no way to out um, Borrowland without Tactics. Yep. So, when I was testing against Dragon Link and I was playing Tactics, I Tactics is Borrowland, Normal Summon Necro Banshee, Link into Dark Charmer, uh, bring back his Borrowland, and then they can't out it either. Yeah. Uh, and this is also a target for Ultimate Slayer. Because you can send it for Elf. Oh, okay. Because oh, you, right. you wouldn't play Next XYZ. Well, I didn't. I chose not to because um, if they go Elf Toad, you can't ultimate slay the toad because it can't be targeted. Yeah, yeah. So I thought fusion and yeah. links will be. Yeah. And then it stops the recursion for the turn. Yeah. Um, so that was extra deck. Oh, and yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. And then the spies. Your boy. Uh, Stardust Dragon. That's beautiful. Um, yeah. Shout out to Card Merchant for telling me that. Um, this is for an obvious deck in my side deck, which you'll see, and it's a signal that you can out uh, Wind Pegasus with. Um, on to side deck, we play three lava golem. Uh, this is hit and miss. Um, it was a debate where I, whether I play sphere mode or this, and most sprite players I played only summoned two because yep. they were aware of sphere mode. So this caught them out sometimes. But my adding this to opponent, because he's like, oh, you're playing Underlitch, you might play Lava Golem. I'm not going to use Adder Oval to pop your monster, so then you can Lava Golem me. Um, so that was kind of spicy, but yeah, this is a good card. Um, then we play three Lightning Storm. Uh, this is Lightning Storm. Yeah. And against other monkey decks, you just beat them. Um, Ultimate Slayer. Uh, this card's really good. Uh, Shout out to the cool person yeah. that loaned you those. <laughs> Thanks, Giz. Yeah. Um, uh, it was okay, um, I kind of assumed different meta, and it was literally just all two element, so this doesn't do as much as it should. Yeah. It's really only good for the kick Coloss. Yeah. Whereas um, I, 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 hit the t I hit the sprite side of the room, so I was playing a lot of sprite mirrors and only first one tier element. Yeah, and that was the same for me, all my matchups were sprite, 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 and they were all ending on Zeus. Um, then we play three evenly, uh, it's just a board breaking card. Yep. Uh, it's not as popular anymore, so people don't often play around it anymore, because it used to be like Droplet evenly yeah. and Board Breakers, but um, yeah, this is, this card's pretty good. I never played it. Um, apart from my Geraldine opponent eradicated me, and he called Traps, but this is the only trap in my hand. It was like Fusion Destiny, Branded Fusion, Super Poly, um, so that was kind of funny, but Rolled the 50-50 and he chose wrong. Yep. Uh, went on to the real spice, the uh, three starlight run. Yeah. This was, in theory, I didn't want to play Dark Bribe for Harpies. Because yep. that, that's what it is. Harpies is like, um, come back in the format more than evenly. Yep. So it's like Harpies and Storm are the board breaking cards. So, in theory, if they Harpies you, you just go, oh, start the road, summon Stardust Dragon, that's another protection. Yep. Um, and the summon isn't mandatory, so if you're under Tikaboo and you already have any dragon, you don't have to summon Stardust. Yeah. But um, this honestly could have been literally anything else. I probably would have played like Barrier yeah, or something, yeah. but good in theory. Yeah, it's a good card. Yeah. Cool. Any shout outs? Uh, shout out to everyone who lent me cards like Kez and Joe. Um, shout out to Dice Show Games, it's good locals. Um, Best in Eden locals, I hear. Yep. <laughs> Uh, shout out to the guys that ran the event. It went really smoothly. Really good event. Uh, Shamer came in third, but that is what it is. And obviously, Team Tacky Timmy's hit them with a yep. like and subscribe <laughs> as well. Be linked below. Yeah, sweet. Thanks. No worries. Thanks, Troy. Good.